Hi, I'm JD, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing two examples, two problems to practice. So if you would, let me get my big head out of the way so you can see what's, what the problems are, is I want you to first convert this to an augmented matrix, and then that's for the first part, and then for the second part, take the augmented matrix and convert it to a system of equations. So pause the video and see if you can do these two on your own. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your matrix. Now an augmented matrix has basically two parts. It is separated by a solid line. On the outsides, you have the, the brackets, and they're enlarged. Brackets around like a 3 by 3 signify to matrix. So, what are you going to put here on this side? Yeah, all the coefficients. And you're going to make sure all the coefficients line up. So, all your x's in the first column, all your y's, in the second column, and then all your z's in the third column. And what's going to go here? Right, all the constants. This line separates, you know, the, the equal sign. So it separates all three of these. So you have 10, 5, and 6. Now let's take these one at a time. And that's what's going across are the equations. So take this and just take the coefficients. So the coefficient that would go here is what? Right. That's a 2. What would go in this column? Yeah, the y, which is implied, it's a 1. If you just see a variable, it's implied that the coefficient in front is 1. Same thing with the z. Now let's do this second equation. So what's going to go here? Not a zero. It's going to be one. Kind of. Sometimes the equations are tricky, right? The x's, you know, would go here. Y's go here. But since there is no y. You have the x, so x is 1, and since there's a y, what do you think you're going to put here? Right, a 0. Now what would go here? Yeah, another 1. Now what would go here in the last row? Right, a 0, because there's no x, the coefficient of the 2y, this term right here, is 2. The coefficient in front of the z, the number in front of the z, is 3. So that's your answer for this part. For this right here, it's going to be the same thing, but it's going to be the opposite. Instead of starting with a system of equations and going to an aug augmented matrix, you're going to go from an augmented matrix to a system of equations. So this right here is your first equation, second equation, and third and last equation. Again, these are all the coefficients of x, y, and z. And these are all your answers. And this line is the equal sign. So this would be 1x, so it's just x, plus, now it's 0y, 0 times y is just 0, it just cancels out. So you're not going to have a y in this equation, but you're going to have a 2y equals 2. Now the second one is very straightforward, you have 3x minus 2y Actually, this is supposed to be z. Good call, by the way. 
So you have 2y plus 5z equals negative 3. Yeah, you guys probably spot that, right? That was supposed to be a z, not a y. You guys probably did. Alright, now for the third and last equation, notice that there's, gonna, there's not going to be an x and there's not going to be a z. So there's going to be a y, but there's a 1 there. So it's just going to be y equals 7. And that's it. Now, what you can do if you're trying to solve a matrix, you can just take this augmented matrix and convert to this. Once you convert to this, then you can solve the system of equations. Because then you can just do substitution, and then you can do elimination, and substitution, or whatever, to solve for, and here, you just have to solve for x and z, because you already know uh, y is. So that's it.